Hey guys, welcome to Tentpire. Today I'm going to review the FearTech Gimbal 2, which is an incredibly well-priced smartphone stabilizer. These type of gimbals are mostly used for vlogging and making videos more interesting. So enough with the introductions, let's take a look at the actual product. The Wimble 2 comes in a compact box that's covered in different graphics. It's pretty colorful and includes all of the information about the gimbal, such as links to the website and QR codes for social media, and of course the color of the gimbal that you have chosen. So now let's take a look at the inside. The outer box is simply there to protect the Wimble 2 from scratches. As you can see there's a grey case inside the box that takes up the entire space. You can use this case to store the gimbal at home or bring it with you on trips. Either way is pretty convenient as you have less stuff to throw away. Besides the case, the box also includes an envelope. It has a warranty card, a short quick start guide and yet another QR code for customer support. Overall, the packaging is pretty well designed, as again you don't end up with a ton of junk that you need to throw away. You can also say that about the case. Inside the case, there are compartments for the Wimble 2 gimbal and its accessories, so you don't need to worry about them getting damaged while traveling or during transportation. A simple yet effective solution by FioTech. There are three objects inside the case. First, there's a small foldable tripod that you can bring anywhere you go. A small black box that includes a bunch of different USB cables, which I'll cover more about in a minute. And finally of course the Wimble 2 itself, which sits perfectly inside the case. So here are all of the accessories that are included. A really nice looking foldable tripod that I mentioned before. A normal micro USB cable for charging the Wimble 2. Three different USB cables for connecting your phone to the gimbal. You can use these to charge your phone with the Wimbal 2. And finally, a simple wrist strap. Now let's take a look at the actual Wimbal 2 stabilizer. As you can see the gimbal has a very nice shape. It's ergonomic and comfortable to hold on to. It has a panel of buttons on the front, which are used to control the device. There's a micro USB port on the side, which is used for charging the gimbal. You will also find a zoom slider on the other side. There is also a trigger button, which has a textured hand area around it. And of course a tripod mount at the end of the handle. Overall the gimbal is made out of high grade plastic. It feels super durable and solid. The build quality is also quite superb. What makes the Wimble 2 truly unique is that it has a telescope handle. You can use it to extend the length of the gimbal and even transform it into an advanced selfie stick. After taking out the Wimble 2, the first thing you'll want to do is screw on the tripod. It's important to have it standing so that you can attach your phone correctly. It's also a great way to see if all the arms move freely, which should always be possible to do when the gimbal is turned off. There's no noticeable resistance and that's again proof of the excellent build quality. The Wimble 2 has a clamp for holding your smartphone. It's adjustable and it can fit different size phones. It also has rubber pads, so you don't need to worry about any damage. Now before buying the gimbal, you should make sure that your phone is compatible. It comes down to the size, as it needs to fit in between the clamps. I'm personally using the iPhone SE, which in my opinion is the lightest and smallest phone that you can use. Anything smaller and you won't be able to get it balanced. As you can see, I have to set the arm length to minimum. On the plus side, it's adjustable, so chances are that your phone will fit. The main goal is to have your phone balanced even while the gimbal is turned off. Once that's done, you can then turn on the gimbal too by holding down the middle button. You'll notice the LEDs light up and the phone will take the center position. You can try pushing it out of balance, but it will instantly take the original position if it's working right. The continuous blinking of the LED light indicates that the gimbal is working. It also indicates which type of mode you're currently using. If you want to switch modes, then you simply click the middle button. One click enables pan mode, which means that the tilt and roll are locked. Two clicks enables follow mode. In this mode, the gimbal becomes fully responsive to your movements. And if you want to get out of the mode, then you simply double tap the trigger button. 
You can also use the joystick to manually control the gimbal. Or you can also go fully automatic and enter the auto rotate mode by clicking the mode button four times. All of these modes can be used offline as well. That said, I still recommend connecting your phone to the Wimble too. The app makes it much more convenient to use and enables a bunch of extra modes. For example, you can lock it onto objects and faces. It will follow the target's movements and keep them in the frame. Not to mention that you can change all of the settings from the app as well. And yes, the app is available for both the iOS and Android systems. The app also supports a number of different languages. The English version is extremely well designed. It's really easy to navigate through all of the different settings. Plus, it doesn't take long to get used to. You're probably wondering by now how good the battery life is. Well, I can tell you that it will last longer than your phone. You can expect to get around 5 hours of battery life from the gimbal. But there's also another interesting feature that Viotech has added. You can connect the Wimble 2 to your phone with a cable and use the gimbal as an external power bank to charge the phone. Overall, the Wimble 2 performs exactly as advertised. It's a fantastic smartphone stabilizer that can noticeably improve your video quality. The gimbal does a superb job at making the footage as smooth as possible. It's much better than any electronic image stabilization system. It's really useful for recording travel videos and vlogging. The different modes can also make your videos look more interesting and professional. So if you're looking for a really good smartphone gimbal that's also affordable, then you should definitely consider the Fiutech Wimble 2.